Joe, hello. Joe, <laughs> the door. It's just another one of those guys. What guys? Well, the guys working for the big companies. I'll buy the house, rip it apart, tear it down like all the others. Forcing good people out. Goodbye, neighborhood. <laughs> Goodbye to your roses. <laughs> we can always get more flowers. It's not the point, Alice. It's pure greed. I'm in the business. I see it from the inside. We don't have to stay here. We could sell up and go live by the ocean like you've been going on about forever. The sound of waves. Wouldn't you like to hear that? What I'd like to hear is that pounding on my doorstop. I'm telling you, they don't quit. I'm gonna go get my gun. I'll clear up any confusion. You stay away from that old thing. That's just gonna backfire and it's gonna hurt you more than it hurts them. At least put me out of my misery. Maybe you should go talk to them? Alice, they won't let up. Okay, if you won't, I will. Don't, don't you dare. You do not go near that door. You're forbidding me? Don't you see? They want, they want one of us to break. They know it's usually the wife that goes first. Okay, you win. Aces, champ. Are you gonna at least water my roses like you promised me? In a minute. I love you. That's why I stick around. Alice? Alice? Dad? Dad? Zoe? Yeah. Did you hear me out there? I've been pounding on the door. Yeah, of course I heard you, but obviously you got your keys. Why aren't you answering your phone? I didn't hear it. Is it charged? Well, it's around here somewhere. Right. Hey, Zoe, Zoe, no, please, please do not do that. We need to let some air in here. There's plenty of air. Why are you wearing a sweater? It's hot out. Well, I'm comfortable. OK, Dad, I'm officially worried. Do you ever leave this room? Are you eating? Are you sleeping? You'd be surprised how little of both you need. And yes, I leave the room. I go outside to water. Did you call out for mom when I came in? Oh, no. No, of course not. Don't be an idiot. Dad, you're hurting. <laughs> I knew that expensive college education would pay off one day. You can't stay in here forever. You need to. Let it go and grieve. I grieve. You waltz in here every now and then. You tell me how to dress. You tell me what to eat. Why don't you let go, huh? Stop picking on me. OK. Have you figured out what you're going to do with her ashes yet? I got some ideas. I'll let you know when one of them feels right. You can't let her stay in there forever. Why not? If that's what I choose, people, people hold on to ashes all the time. She wouldn't want that. She's gone. The dead are dead. Whatever I do is for me. And me. Yeah. Yes, and you. I'm, I'm sorry. Zoe, I get it. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I just need time. I wish you would let Frank come don't, by. Don't, do don't. It. OK, if not him, then someone. No, just I'm telling you, that man steps one foot inside my door. So it's, I, I, I don't know what I'll do. You're going to what? You're going to beat up our pastor? I sat there out of respect to your mother. Every Sunday, I listened to him. I listened to the guy before him, week after week, years of it. Suit and tie, even when jeans became OK in church, now I don't have to end a story. Well. I was, I was married to your mother for 43 years, eight months, and 12 days. 
clock stopped ticking. Wasn't my plan, but here we are, and I do not need you. You and Frank or anybody else tag teaming to tell me that I'm hurting. I'm hurting, I know, I'm hurting. I get it, but I'll get over it, just like I did with your brother. I got over it. No, you haven't. Well, you want, I could start drinking. How'd that work out for you? Huh, get you over the hump when Danny Bolton left you and Adam hanging, huh? I'm sorry, Zoe, I didn't mean that. Not like that, I did not mean that. Yeah, you did. So, come on, Zoe, why are we doing this? Would you just come here? I don't even recognize you. I don't, Dad. I'm confused by this. I'm scared. Well, don't be. I'm working my way through it. Would you, how about just come and give me a hug? I need a hug. You have people out there depending on you. And you have a guy out there who's ready to sue you because he left his house half finished and his family is stuck in a motel. Jason, the guys are gonna finish it. It's just a couple of toilets, a di I think it's a dishwasher, and uh, we turn on the water. That's what I'm talking about, Dad. Jason and the guys quit two weeks ago because they like to get paid. Where are you? Fine, I'll do it myself. What more and cannot connect a toilet? You know your bank called me looking for you? They did, about your mortgage payments. Give me a break, my wife died. And there is more of this vomiting out of your mailbox. I assume you've blown off every bill you received in the last three months, not to mention the condolence cards people have sent to show you they love you. So I missed my Hallmark moment. You're, this is really freaking me out. None of this is like you. That's what worries me. You did exactly what I asked you not to. What? 17 times. What are you talking about? He mentioned God by name 17 times in a 30-minute service. You throw in every Jesus this, Jesus that, that's well over 30. That's one mention a minute. You actually counted? I asked for one thing, Zoe. One thing only. Please do not turn her service into a religious thing. She was Christian. She's dead. She's gone. That day was for me. It was also for me. I am Christian. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal right now. You stop jumping from one fix to the next. You start to believe that. I, I tell you, you believe anything. Maybe I'll believe it too. It had meaning for me. Meaning? You want meaning? Go out there and find out who killed your mother. Cops sure as heck aren't doing it. Three months, Zoe, you find the scum who ran her over and left her in the street lying there for dead. No, I can't do this. Not That's today, Dad. That's right. Fire gets hot. What does she do? She runs off. That's what sane people do so they don't get burned. If you don't want help, that's fine. Fine, Dad. But I am not going to go down with you. I can't. I'm not going to. Well, grab that little chain around your neck, honey. Keep on praying. I hope it works for you. You are such a... I got to water the roses and get some air. Hey. Hey, Shoe. How'd. 
How'd you get in here? Shoot! Shoot! Go! I'm warning you. Huh? I'm warning you. Better get out of here. Fine. Have it your way. Whatever you say, boss. I'm not your boss. I'm your enemy. Not for sale. Not for sale. This guy's a whack job. Shout! How'd you get in here? Hey, 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 how did you? Well, you think I'm playing around here, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, now you're making fun of me, huh? Go on, come on, get out of here. Shoot, just get. Come on, you ugly mutt, get, shoot, shoot, just get, get out of here. I mean it, go. Wrong. Come on, let's go, go, go. All right. But I can tell you this, the nights get pretty messy around here. It's when the ghosts come out. Yeah, that's right. Oh. You're a tough guy. All right. You've been warned. Hold on, hold, hold on, don't, don't you pee on my floor. Here we go, here we go, out you go, come on, come on. Hey, hey, no, not there, not there, you get, get away from those, get away. You don't ever go near these, you got it, ever. 
You stay away. And finish up whatever you're doing there and just get out of here. Just go. I got no business with you, you got none with me. Are you done? All right, go on. What is with you? Can you smell that? Do you know what I have here? I sure do. <laughs> Bring them on. <sighs> Just one. That belly of yours isn't getting any smaller. You want me to eat just one, but you tease me with a plateful. Where's the logic in that? Restraint. I'm teaching you restraint. You got me to restrain my language. Doesn't that count for something? It does, and I appreciate it. And believe me, I got a storage locker full of F-bombs just busting to see some daylight. <laughs> if I could take this and squeeze it into a lifetime, I'd die a happy man. Fat and happy. No, I'm just thinking about that time up on the lake. You know, we were just down on that dock. Oh, just looking up at that night sky, the moon, the stars. Yeah, wondering where it all goes. You and me, hmm? Sitting there in our own little world. They just reached right up there, grabbed them. The stars. You remember that? I do. I fell in love with you that night. Is that where you are right now? In the stars? What do you want? Hi, are you, uh, are you the homeowner? What do you think? Great. Oh, hey. Hey, little guy, how are you? Oh, you're friendly, aren't you? Does he belong to you? No, but you like him so much, why don't you turn around and take him with you? I'm not interested. Okay, uh, well, I don't suppose your wife's around. Why would you ask that? Oh, I'm sorry, I just thought that I maybe... Hey, kid, I know why you're here. You see a for sale sign out there? Huh? I don't. I do, however, see a no trespassing and private property sign. And what part of that gave you the bright idea to come knocking on my door? All right, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm obviously, you, you know, you're not interested. Yeah, I just told you that. And there's no wife here to cave in. I know your tricks. Cool. I, I'm gone. I'm sorry to bother you. Take the dog. Nope. I'm good. Thank you, though. You know what? That was bad. That was way out of line. Woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning.
Come on back. Let me hear what you got to say. No, nah, man, I, I don't, I don't want to bother you. It's... You already did that. You're offering good money? I could be interested. Well, we, we are. We're competitive. Well, competitive works for me. Dog here thinks you're OK. Come on back. Let's hear what you got. Oh, yeah, hey, sorry about the mess. My wife just died recently. Oh, um, I'm, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I, I... So what are, you, what are you gonna do, just buy it, tear it down? Is that your plan? Uh, listen, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe this isn't the best time right no, now. No, no, no. Oh, actually, it's a perfect time. Come on, close the door. Sit. Sit. <sighs> so what do you got? Oh, oh God, right. Um huh. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> What do you have here? Norman Olson. Ah, Norman. <laughs> you don't hear that name a lot anymore. Yeah. You look more like a Chad to me. <laughs> so, Chad, what kind of numbers are we looking at here huh? for my place? Now, I know it's just land to you, but it means a lot more to me. Uh, yeah, no, right. Um, well, I, I suppose I should, oh, I have to ask you a few questions first. Sure. Um, Uh, do you do you own the house, or or, or do you have a, do you have a mortgage? What difference does that make? I know what I owe. You tell me what I get from you. I do the math. All right, all right, yeah, all right. I got you on that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, next, um, uh, let's see. Are there any liens on the house? Nope. Uh, any other names on the title? Not just me. My wife is gone now. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, uh, well, what about the, the lot square footage, say, like, just approximately? 7,227 square feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches. It's rounded off to 28. Wow, uh, that, that's okay. Uh, All right, look, kid, just give me a number. Your slick brochure, your fancy shirt with your muscles popping out of it, doesn't impress me. Life is all about the numbers, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, all right. But um, I got to do some crunching. Yeah, you go ahead. Coffee just kicked in. Got to do a little crunching myself. <laughs> well, I take your time. I'll, I'll just hang out here with... Uh, uh, what, what's your dog's name? Uh, dog. That, that's his name? Yeah, why not? After all, the name is just a name, right? In reality, we are who we are, right, Norman? Chad? Norman? Chad, Norman? Chad? Um, dog's fine. Give me that number, Norman. Love my life. Here comes shit. And bang, just like that, she's gone. Three months, seven days, and what do you know? Just a couple hours ago. <laughs> and now here we are. Here you are to take my home. Wait, what? Is that just a coincidence, Norman? I don't, I don't understand. No. Yeah, I don't think you do. Please, I, uh, I've, I've got a kid, right? Me too. Little girl in those photos? 
She used to have a mother. Yeah, kids lose their parents all the time to life's unfortunate events, and sometimes well, parents even lose their kids. I, I think that you might have me mixed up with somebody else. Did you or did you not come here with this whole purpose to take this house, my home? I mean, I mean, yes, I did. I mean, but sort of. Conveniently available, sort of, don't you think? Now with my wife gone. I, I don't understand. You kill her? What? Did you kill my wife? Look, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Oh, I think you do. You are the people you work for. You killed her, you made it look like an accident. We know what happened, don't we? And why? Please, sir. Please what? Please, please don't, don't do whatever it is that you're thinking about doing right now. What is it you think I'm thinking about doing? I, look, all I did was I just came here to see if you wanted to sell your house, that's it. Oh, well, fair enough. So what do you think now? You think I want to sell my house, Norman? Uh, no, probably not. Your, your wife just passed away. She didn't just pass away. She was killed. So what do you think, dog? Should we just finish this guy? Finish him and be done with it, hmm? Hmm? What? What, 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 is, what is he saying? I don't know. You speak dog, you tell me. And then I, 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 I think that he's, I think he said that you should let me go and that I'll forget that this ever happened and I will never, ever, ever bother you ever again. Is that right? We should just let him go, hmm? Really? I think maybe you're right. But I think he also said, I find out that you are the people you work for, you killed my wife, you killed my Alice, I will not hesitate to shoot you on sight. You let them know I'm on to you, the whole thing. Uh, yeah, fair, fair enough. This will not be forgotten. I don't forgive and forget. I, I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. All right, go on. Go on. Take your little brochure. Hey, you never gave me that number. What well, this place might be worth. Uh, I'm really sorry about your wife. Yeah, good answer. That might be the dumbest thing you've ever done. Not now, Alice. Consequences. The air had to be cleared. A message had to be sent. And this is how you do it? Yes, this is how I do it. And where's that gotten you? Here. Right here. My house, my home, my little piece of it all that they can't get their hands on. Mine. I'm telling you, Alice, they take everything if you let them. You gotta fight back. You gotta send a message. You say so. You're being hard on Zoe. She's hurting and she needs you. She looks up to you. I know. She loves you. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll patch things up. And get rid of that gun. Promise me. I promise. I promise. Yeah, yeah, I know. But what's done is done. At least they know to leave me alone now. Give me five minutes of peace. Come on, guys. Just a big misunderstanding. Thanks for coming in, Miss Bigler. It's your maiden name, my name. 
Zoe. Zoe's fine. She was married, but her deadbeat husband ran off on her and their kid on his fifth birthday. Okay. Actual day. Oh, okay, Dad. What a world, right? It is. All right, Zoe, um, I'm Detective Rollins. If you don't mind, I'd like to jump right into this. Yeah, that's fine. Does your father own a gun? N no, not that I'm aware of, Dad. Of course I don't. You know how your mother felt about guns. This is absurd. Mm. Well, I've got a son affidavit here as part of a complaint that he pulled a gun out on a Norman Olson who had visited his house earlier today. I'm sorry, who? Another guy trying to buy the house. I'm telling you, though, they won't let up. Sorry, you had a gun? No. No, that's what I've been trying to tell him. I don't own a gun. This guy, this Norman kid, he's making it all up. It's, it's, it's just another trick to get me out. First your mother, now this. Oh, okay, let's not do that here. Wait, what do you mean, trick to get you out? <sighs> My dad thinks somebody wants his house for the land. Because it's an older home. It's strong and sturdy. Like you, right? Neither of us are going anywhere soon. My mother had an accident recently on no, her bike. No, 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 no. She was murdered. Now I know why. Dad? She was. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Because nobody around here seems to be doing anything about it. I, I, I told the cops who came around after. There was no accident. It, it, she was killed. She tried to get me to cave in, get all emotional and just move out. And you think this Norman Olson had something to do with it? Him, somebody who works for. It's all one big circle. They're all in it together, buying up the world, turn it into something that I couldn't recognize to save my life. And that's why you pulled out a gun on him. What part of I don't own a gun do you not understand? And don't you try to trick me. Dad. No, no, I've done nothing wrong. It's my word against this Norman kid. Search me, search my house. No gun, period. It's all made up. So you mean we can do that? Search your house? <laughs> yeah, sure. Here, go ahead. Here. Knock yourself out. How's Adam? He's just fine. He misses you. Thanks. I miss him too. Maybe you could bring him around. Not now. Just tell him I was thinking about him. I will. Hey, did I tell you I got a little dog? What? Just showed up one day. Won't leave me alone. I won't leave, period. <laughs> Did you try to find his owner? Adam's gonna love him. Dog. That's what I'm calling him. That's creative. It works. Dad, I'm serious. When we get through this, I really need you to talk to someone, to anybody. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on with you. You understand that? Okay, I, I need somebody to help me understand this. I, I, I get it, So, Make it happen. I'll be there. I promise. Whoever. Thank you. Yeah, sure, thanks. We'll get this all straightened out. I just want it to be done. Hey, how you doing, Norman? Dad, stop. I'm, I'm sorry about any misunderstanding. <sighs> Mr. Bigler? So... He's dropping the charges. Oh, he changed his tune, did he? That was quick. <laughs> so this ends here, unless you give me a reason otherwise. So let's keep it in check, okay? Don't let me regret letting you off the hook for whatever happened today. He won't. Mr. Bigler? What part of this... You got my word. I won't be a problem. Promise me, and swear to me, you don't have a gun. I already got rid of it. It's not gonna be a problem. Oh, my. <laughs> I want you to talk with Frank. Here it goes. You just said I make it happen, you'll be there. You said whoever. To talk to someone, work my way through this, not get the magic wand of God waved over me and try to turn me into something I'm never gonna become, Zoe. He's a good listener, that's all. I talked to Frank. That makes you happy? 
This is so far beyond what makes me happy. Fine. Fine, bring him over. No big deal. We'll clear the air. I promise I... I'll talk, he listens, we make peace. After that, maybe I can see Adam? Get him and Dog together. That would make me happy. You have a deal. See that? I told you, they don't give up. And now they got me right where they want me, and I can't even defend myself. Oh, now I got you to take care of me. Is that right? You might want to brush up on that bark of yours I've never heard. Sure, why not? Over here, over here. Get going through. How come I never hear you bark anyway? You do know how to bark, don't you? You're a dog. That's how dogs talk. They bark. How you doing today, Mr. Dog? Ruff! Oh, that's nice to hear. How are the wife and kids? Ruff, ruff. Oh, that's good. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, that's very nice of you to ask. I'm doing just fine. Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, hey get back, get back. You better be finished with your business. What'd I tell you? Here I am, I give you some slack, I make friendly, and suddenly you turn on me. Ah, so now you're a smart guy, huh? All right. Is that it? Is that what you're looking for, Columbo? Bad dog, bad dog. Dad? You do not go near that, do you understand? You stay out, hey, Dad? Dog. You do not go near it, you do not go near it. Do you understand me? Dad? Hey, I thought I heard you. Dad. I was just about to wire the flowers. Oh, is this him? Is this the dog you found? Oh, uh, more like he found me. Oh, come here, you're cute. He thinks you say that to all the dogs. <laughs> Not true. But you could definitely use a bath. Uh, I don't think he likes water too much. I tried to hose him down once, but... So, you haven't seen any signs for lost dogs? No one's come around? Nope. We can't keep him. Why not? Because he belongs to somebody. He has no collar, no leash, no tags, no nothing. He shows up at my door. Nobody's come around looking for him. What am I supposed to do? do I take him to the pound. You know what they're going to do. Yeah. Well, Frank's inside. Oh. Right. Well, that was quick. You promised. I did. Let's do this. Be nice. Nothing but. I, I just want to say right off the bat that I, I'm, I'm sorry uh, about the service. I heard from Zoe that you were disappointed. Am I walking out in the middle of it didn't send that message, huh? <laughs> it did, it did. And uh, again, I'm sorry. Uh, I was trying to find a balance between uh, what you'd asked for and the expectation of others, Alice's friends. OK. Fine. Let's move on. Sure. Still, you must know that Alice had deep feelings regarding her faith. Look, Alice had faith, I had doubt. You'd be surprised how well the two work together. Doesn't surprise me at all. I think that doubt's an important part of a healthy faith. Tell you what, let's put all the religious stuff aside for now. 
Well, surprise you to know that Alice was concerned about you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's news to me. Both she and Zoe care about you. Frank, right, you, right, you do me a favor. Stop talking like she's still here. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. You no, know, for a guy who's here to do some listening, you're starting to do a lot of the talking. Okay, you're right. Tell you what, just tell me how you're doing. Oh, okay, let's see. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I know, really, I am. I, I even told Zoe this. I know it may not look that way, but I'm working my way through it. It just takes time. Frank, I, I, come on, you must deal with this grief stuff all the time. I do. Oh. We're good then. We're done here? Dad. Well, Frank gets it. He knows it's just going to take some time. There's, there's nothing more. Right, but there's plenty to talk about. So. Look, if you're waiting for me to fall on the floor in a heap of snot and cry out to Jesus to save me, it's not going to happen, honey. That's not why I'm here. Forgive me, Frank, but give me a break. Hey. You know it, and I know it. All right, look. Yes, Alice had her beliefs, and I supported her. But it doesn't mean it works that way for everyone. And it certainly doesn't work that way for me. And frankly, Frank, I don't think she was as concerned about me as you make it sound. That was a low blow. OK. But if I may, what does work for you? You say you're getting over Alice's death. How? I just take things as they come. I deal with them when they do. If nothing else, I learned that in the ring. Tomorrow's always another round. I always counted on that. You know, Joe, I think we have more in common than you might think. Oh, yeah? How so? Take love, for example. You know love, right? I know that you loved Alice deeply. And faith, you may call it hope. That strange force that drew you into the ring when every part of your body's telling you to stay out. And mercy, compassion. I saw it every Sunday when you took a seat next to Alice in church. Even if you were just going through the motions you were there for. Do you recognize any of those things? Well, of course. I'm human. See? We're not so different after all. God just uses each one of us in his own way. <laughs> you see that, Joe? See what he did just there? He snuck God right in through the back door. <laughs> all right, my turn. Two times in my life, I tried to reach out to God. And I mean, give it my best shot, despite every part of my being saying don't. And you got to understand, this was because of Alice, not for her, but because of her. I mean, if God and all that meant so much to her, there must be something to it, something I must be missing. I loved her that much. I trusted her that much. And I respected her. First time. I'm at work one day. I get a call out of nowhere, out of the blue, that your son is lying in a hospital bed and he's dying. What? Anyway, I get over there to the hospital where they got him in. I see Alice and I see a fear in her eyes like nothing I've never seen before. So I, I figure I, 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 I guess I should pick up the slack. I, I should say a prayer that she can't seem to manage just then. So I am. Um, I beg him. I beg God. Please, don't take my son. Hmm? I begged. I prayed. And I waited. I waited. I begged for mercy. I begged for compassion. We all know how that turned out. 
One day, Shorty, you guys turn in 13. He didn't even have a chance to be a man. Second time. Three months ago. I'm sitting in this room, right in this chair, right here, and suddenly there's a knock at the door. There's a cop who tells me there's been an accident. I heard sirens, I didn't think anything of it, but anyway, he goes on to tell me, um, I'm sorry, sir, but your wife has fallen off her bike. Just like that, fallen off her bike. So uh, I rush over to the hospital, same hospital where Mike died, and they tell me, it doesn't look good. What is going on here? It doesn't look good. What is this, a television show? Anyway, they, they take me into the ER. They pull back this curtain where they got her hid from view. And then there she is. That's cut to pieces. Mangled. A mess. 43 years by her side. All that beauty, all that love, and then there she is like that. And the only thing, our entire future and our entire history, the only thing we got left is the faint beep of this little machine they got above her head telling us that she's still with us. So I turned to God once again. Only this time, I get down on my knees like I think you're supposed to on this filthy green hospital tile floor and I beg him, I beg him, Begged him. Please, let Alice live. Please, take me. If you're mad at somebody, be mad at me. If you want to punish someone, punish me. And I'm telling you, I meant this with all my heart, everything I was asking. I even forgave him about Mike. And then just like before, nothing. Not a fly flapping its wings, nothing. Then, um, well, maybe 60, not even 60, 30 seconds later, I, I hear it, that little beep. It goes flat, the sound that death makes. And I get his answer. Sorry, Joe. Too little, too late. Twice I tried. Twice I was denied. I figure you reach out to somebody, anybody, certainly God for hope and mercy and compassion, and you get nothing back, anything back. It's just a, you know, a fantasy you make up to keep from going nuts. That wall, that's real. I know it's there, it knows I'm here. Mutual respect. God never gave me as much. That's not God, those words. Oh yeah, then who? Who was it who took my son in a blink of an eye? And who has such a supreme authority, such an audacity to let my, be my beautiful, my beautiful wife, everything I love, should die lying face down in the asphalt when she gave nothing but love to everyone who came around her. Not God. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's just the, the man in the mirror. Maybe it's nothing at all. Either way. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay.
so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? For letting you down. Using all those words, I... <laughs> Joe, by the time we fell in love, I knew what I was getting into. No, well, and that's on you. But you're the one punching holes in walls. Activists. Dropping F-bombs like it's Hiroshima. Well, that's what you get for leaving me here alone. We're never alone. It's a choice. I don't know. It's like you're a million miles away. I lose a little piece of you every day, every minute. The choices you make have always been yours. You never needed me for that. It always helped. One look in your eyes and... I had all the answers. Can I help you? Mr. Bigler, how you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. What are you doing over there? I was thinking I could use a truck. Well, I think that's more than you need. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Personally, I want to live as far away from work as possible. Hey, look, I know you didn't come here to talk about trucks or where you want to live, so if you got something on your mind, I'm kind of in the middle of things. No, actually, I think I may be able to help you. How so? You mentioned before that people were trying to force you out of your house here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they can just rip it down and put up whatever they got planned for the land next door. And you think maybe your wife's accident had something to do with that, getting you out of this place here? I saved my life on it. She was killed. They made it look like an accident. They figured I'd be so broken up that I, I wouldn't want to stick around. Are you broken up? Yeah, of course. What kind of question is that? But you have no plans of leaving? They're gonna have to carry me out in a bag. I hear that. <laughs> Look, the case is still open. I was thinking maybe I'll take a stab at it. Really? Yeah, it seems like the right thing to do. Well, thank you. That, that, that would mean a lot. But to be fair, the detectives assigned to this case, they've done a good job. They've done their work. Yeah, well, if in your book not figuring out who killed my wife is a good job, I... They've gone door to door for witnesses, checked out security cameras, checked body shops. They checked your wife's cell phone recovered at the scene to see who she was in contact with during the time. I, I don't understand. What does your phone have to do with anything? Look, you wanted them to do their job, look at all angles. That's part of what we do. I, I, it just seems like an invasion, that's all. I, so, what did they find when they looked at these records? Nothing solid. But my point is that they've done a good job, right? They've been very thorough. It doesn't mean it didn't happen, like I said. It has nothing to do with cell phones or cell phone records. Someone killed her to get this place. That's what happened. And I think it's an angle that needs to be addressed. Oh, who's this? <laughs> dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Where were you? Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Go on. Get in there. 
They're a real pain in the butt, but I deal with them. <laughs> Got one myself. Only mine's a teenager who wants the life and luxury of LeBron, but he's too short and can't shoot a hoop to save his life. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you how it goes, all right? If you can think of anything, need to talk, that's my cell. Anytime, all right? Let's put this thing to bed. Thank you. No, I'm, I mean that. Thank you. You know, I could turn him into a fighter. He's got strong hands. Don't even think it. One is enough. <sighs> Thanks for letting me spend some time. Yeah, it's good for both of you. Not for all of us. You weren't exactly wrong about me, what you said the other day. And so we don't have to do this. No, you were right. I do. I, I grab for things, whatever, just to sense of it all. We all do. That's human nature. And somehow we think it's just us. Me. <sighs> I just don't understand how a man could abandon his kid like that. Dad. I'm sorry, you're right. I won't go there. You're all I got. You and Adam. Dad, I need you to be okay, for me to be okay. I wish I could just flip a switch. Make it better, faster, but I'm not wired that way. Definitely not. <sighs> Zoe, you and I, we, we don't see eye to eye on everything. We a lot of things. Your mother and I certainly didn't, that's for sure, but... <sighs> I'm glad for what you found. It's a safe place. It's a good place. I'm happy that it's taken away some of the pain. Thank you. Faith, it's a funny thing, huh? Fickled and funny in who it chooses. Not me. But your mother always had my back. And now that she's gone? Now she's gone, I got this guy. Don't I, dog? Keeping me on the straight and narrow. Talk about faithful. I can't get rid of him if I wanted to. Who needs a leash? <laughs> I hate to say this, but we have to try to find his owner. We have to just try. Hmm? What are you saying? Nobody owns nobody. He's turning you into a softy. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. All right, just a couple of moves, I promise. Strictly self-defense. Oh! Come on, right there. Boom!
telling you, my bank was in on it. So, Joe, just slow down, all right? Let's think about this. Roman, please listen carefully. Look, my wife dies, right? I don't pay my mortgage for a couple of months. Give me a break. My wife just died. You should see all these, these not just bills, but these, these threats they're sending. Threats? Yeah, in so many words. Right, OK, look, listen very carefully. First thing they got to do is they got to get me out of here. So what do they do? They foreclose on me, the bank. They're the real crooks here. Next, the builder comes in and buys my house from the bank at a discounted price. Bank wins. Next, the builder tears it down. They go back to the same bank to get financing for whatever it is that they're going to put up, some work, live, loss, whatever. Bank wins again. Whoever buys this, whatever it is, at the suggestion of the builder, goes back to the very same bank to get their mortgage. Bank wins again. That's three times. Three times, they all win. They all win because they're all in on it together. They all win, everybody but me. I lose my house, I lose my wife. Wow. You really thought this through. I have. And I can see that you know what I'm saying here. Yeah, but killing someone and covering it up? Why not? Go to church on Sunday, back to work on Monday. Clean slate. Of course, the banks will tell you it's just business. OK, I'll take a look into it. <laughs> oh, classic. Uh, I'll take a look into it. Okay, Code Jack. That's a blow-off line if I've ever heard one. I just thank you reaching here, Joe. I mean, banks don't do that. That's not the way it works. Hey, the banks, all of them, just watch the news. You know what, forget okay, it. I'll deal with it myself. Joe, I told you that I'll... Thanks for your help. Mr. Bigler? Yeah, that's right. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? Uh, do you think we could go somewhere more private? Yeah, of course. Come on in. All right, come on. Let's go, Dom. In there. Let's just uh, cut right to it. Hmm? Recognize those? And mortgage bills, are they yours? No, they're his. Of course, they're mine. Name Alice Bigler mean anything to you? My guess is your wife, maybe? Is she also a client here? She was my wife. She's gone now. She was killed. Oh, I'm sorry. You know anything about that? No, no. Don't look at him. I'm the story here. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. Rob? Is that your name? Rob? Your parents have a crystal ball or something? <laughs> All right. Rob. Uh, I've been a customer here for 25 years, well before the fancy remodel. I've never seen you around before. Probably because I've only been here a little over three months. Three months? Huh, is that right? Yeah, they, they tend to shuffle us around. How convenient. Three months ago, you got shoveled. Mr. Bigler, I have no idea what's going on here, and I have no idea how I can help you, or even what your concern is. Now, perhaps if... My wife dies. I get a stack of bills from you guys, followed by twice as many threats to pay up or else. All because I take time off to grieve. Starting to sound familiar, Rob. What, is, is this what you're referring to as threats? You tell me. Well, Mr. Bigler, these are courtesy letters. The bank sends these out whenever a customer is late. It's a, a friendly reminder, if you will. That's how you see it. I see it differently. Not so friendly. Are you still behind currently on your payments? Again, you tell me. It's like just a couple of months. Three months. Three months, to be exact. Well, we can certainly take care of that today if that's what you want. Uh, or under the circumstances, I, I'm certain we could get an extension. At the very least, uh, I'd be glad to waive some of the, the penalties. Oh, for... gee, that's awfully nice of you. OK, so if that's the only problem. No, the problem is, the problem is, Rob, you can't have my house. I'm not an idiot. 
I know your plan here, and you can't pivot me with a couple of meaningless goodwill gestures. I can assure you, it is never our goal to take a home, especially not after a loss like yours. Oh, so if I didn't have a loss like mine, you might think about taking my home. No, no, no that's not what I meant. We, we just don't do that sort of thing. Give me a break. You killed her to get my house. You and whoever it is that you're working for, you killed her to get my house. It didn't work, and now here I am to call you on it. Okay, I think this conversation is over now. Oh, no, Rob. Why, Joe? This guy. It's not what I'm asking. This is for you, Alice. This is for you. No, it's for you. Mr. Bigler. Why, Joe? You say it. I killed her. You say it. We're done here. Just say it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Again, Joe, why? Say it! I killed her! Say it! One last time. Why? <laughs> You have no idea how hard it is living with somebody who sees everything so perfect all the time. Especially when all you can sm smell is the rot underneath it all. Doubt. And everything you love. And still, she never quit on me. Not once. Joe? Hey, Alice, sweetie, you gotta answer your phone when I call you. Do you have any idea where my glasses are? What? My glasses, I can't find them. I told you before I left, they're right on the TV cabinet next to the remote. Well, I'm standing right here, they're not here. <laughs> they must have walked off or I need them worse than I think because I've looked everywhere, they're not here. <laughs> Joe. I've looked everywhere, Alice. Well, just use mine, they're in the kitchen and I'll just find yours when I get back, okay? How far away are you? Joe. How far away are you? I'm just on the road, but... Well, I need you to turn around and come back. I need them. I need mine, not yours. I got a pile of work to do. Yeah, and I've got a ride to do. Alice, I need you to turn around and come back. Joe. I need you to come back now. <laughs> You're a real piece of work lately, you know that? Come back now. Morning, Joe. What now? You can't just walk into a bank and blow up steam. It blows back. Yeah, I was wrong. I'm gonna go in today and patch things up. It's not that easy. Not this time. Whoa, 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 what are you, what are you doing? What, what are you? <laughs> I warned you. Okay. Uh, what, what, what's going on here? Place you under arrest for aggravated assault. What? Are you in on this now too, Rollins, huh? I just wanted to scare him, make him talk, that's all. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can Fine, we'll you want to do your job, I'll do it for you, you whatever. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Yeah, yeah, we've all seen the TV show. You know a good lawyer? This is going to be recorded. I, I told you, I'm going to apologize to the guy. Do we need these theatrics? Come on, turn that thing off. I have a couple questions. I, this, is a, are you, this is a joke, right? First. You refuse your right to have legal representation present, is that correct? Because I got nothing to hide. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. You sure you don't want to call your daughter? Absolutely not. All right. I'm going to ask you a few questions about you and your wife. Me? Yes, you. The last person your wife talked to was you on her cell phone, right before the accident. Give or take a minute or two. You serious? Depending on the timeline we've created with some of the first folks on the scene. What timeline? A witness several blocks away reported a white truck speeding through around this, the same time. That, this is insane. You did call her, correct, on her cell phone while she was on her bike? Yeah, but it was... You mind sharing what you discussed? Are you accusing me of this now, too? What happened to her? What is with you people? I'm not accusing anyone, all right? I'm just finishing up what you asked me to pursue. That's it. This is what I had in mind. I... There was nothing. I told her I lost my glasses, asked her if she knew where they were. She said no. End of story. You sure? That's it? Yes, that's it. You have a temper. 
First Norman Olsen, now this guy at the bank. Unbelievable. The dent and the scratch on the front right bumper of your truck. If we run a test on that, what will we find? You find out that I ran into a post at a hardware store. Believe me, the post got the worst of it. You reported? It was a post. You were checking me out, weren't you? In my house, my truck, snooping around even then. And the crack running light? Same running with the post? I remember once in the ring back when I was getting started. I knocked this guy down. I felt bad for him. Can you imagine that a fighter feeling bad for the other guy? So I helped him back up to his feet, show him some compassion. Anyway, dumb move. Guy clocks me, knocks me right out. I gave you more credit, Rollins. I was trying to help you, you. I'll never learn. Dumb move. What a mess. Yes, it is. Can't see up from down anymore, Alice. So look sideways. There's my girl. Oh, I miss you. I'd give everything in this world to be with you right now. Wherever that is. I'm right here. And from the looks of it, neither of us is going anywhere So. But again, that's your choice. Damn much I've done. Ever think it might be time to give yourself a break? If I do, I might lose you forever. If you don't, you just might. Risky. To forgive and to forget are two different things. I know you know that. You're a miracle. So are you. A work in progress. I'm so sorry for making such a mess of it all. For making you turn around and come home. Why did I, why did I do that? What for? Thanks for doing this. I'll pay you back, of course. Sell the house, whatever it takes. I'm done with all of it, I promise. Don't thank me. Thank him. 
Of course. Be grateful. And whatever you do, don't leave town. Just like TV. You are a terrier, right? That's my best guess. Look, you're starting to grow on me, too. But we got to find out who owns you. Time for both of us to move on. You sure you don't want to go out with me and help me put these things up? Hmm? I'm starting to think this whole man's best friend thing ain't for nothing. And you never bark, for which I'm hugely grateful. Not a bit confused. I knew you'd come around. I'm doing my knees any favors, pal. What? What? What's this place over here? What about it? Oh. This is where you live? You're not messing with me, are you? All right. I guess this is it then, huh? What? What? You want me to take you over there? No, these people are gonna be mad they kept you for so long. You go on, go on. All right. All right, let's, let's just get this over with. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hello? Hello? What? Hey. What? What, what are you doing? I shouldn't be snooping around like this. I'm already in enough trouble. If this is your house and you want to stay, stay. But I'm not snooping around like this. What?
took me there. This is on you as much as it is me. Think it through, Joe. Somebody's gonna get hurt. That's the idea. I could almost feel you. You so close. What happened? Loose ends. Guilt has to be assigned. This is revenge. Call it what you want. They're accusing me, Alice. And this is how you set them straight? Yes, this is how I set them straight. This is anger, not truth. Alice, I love you, but I'm begging you, not now. One way or the other, it all ends tonight. You do this, Joe, and you are on your own. I am gone forever. Alice? And you know that. Alice, I got no more fight left. The problem is you never had fight, real fight. You punch at shadows. Alice, not now. Make holes in walls. Would you get the heck out of here and let me finish this? And the only person who ever gets beaten up over and over again is you. Leave! You better say something soon, because this gun's got a mind of its own. How about we start with a name? Nathan Wells. Oh. Oh, good evening, Nathan. I'm Joe. You found my dog. So you belong to this punk? 
If it means anything, I've tried to, since it happened, I've stood outside your house. Wait, 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 whoa. You're also the same guy that's been creeping around my house at night? It was just an accident. Whatever you think, I promise you it was an accident. Oh. Hey, you promised me, then. <laughs> Go on. No? Huh? Well, it looks like he switched teams on you, Nathan. King. Huh? His name is King. I call him Dog, but King, King kind of works. Of course, it makes him a royal pain in the butt. <laughs> it was an accident. You say that once again, and so help me, I will shoot you right here on the spot. Like that's supposed to make it all right. It was an accident. Please, we can work this out. I'll do anything. Give me one reason. Give me one reason why I should show you an ounce of mercy when you didn't think twice about doing the same for my wife and then you ran off like a coward. That was wrong. Do you know what they told me after she was gone? They said that if whoever hit her called for help one minute, maybe just one minute sooner, they might have been able to save her. One minute, tick tock. My wife, she's inside, she's pregnant. Oh, my wife's dead. I think I got your beat, pal. What can I do? We could go to the police. I'll tell them everything, I swear to Too low, too late. Join the club. All right, here's what we're gonna do, Nathan. Anyone ever call you Nate? No, not really. All right, then, Nate. One minute from now, that's 60 seconds, I'm going to shoot you dead. It's a fact. I'm going to kill you because you killed my wife. One minute from now. Same amount of time, if you'd made one simple phone call, you might have been able to save her. You ever hear that expression, all the time in the world? One minute just became what's left of yours. No. No what? I don't want to die. You can't do this. Nobody wants to die, Nathan. Yes, I can. In 50 seconds. I'm begging you. Please. Oh, no, no, still nothing coming through. Uh, it happens. Why are you doing this? 40 seconds. Please, my wife is gonna have a baby. Yeah, that's what you said. Consequences. Right, Alice? I didn't mean for it to happen. I was just coming home from work. I, I, I had just gotten laid off. For real. Who, who? 30 seconds. I, I was just coming down the road, not even fast. I don't think I even had a stop sign. Oh, please, you do not want to tick me off more than you already have with, I don't think I had a stop sign. And quite frankly, I don't buy your whole, I got laid off sob story. It's true, I was, so I was, I was distracted. I don't know, I was thinking about the baby, how I'm gonna take care of it. It was just an accident. 20 seconds. Please. Did you even bother to check on her after you hit her? Of course. It was horrible. She, she wasn't moving. But still, you just left her there, huh? Like roadkill. Who, 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 who are you? What kind of man does something like that? I panicked. Yeah, because you got a baby coming. Can I be honest with you? Kid's going to be better off without you. I thought if, if, if I go to somebody, if, if I told someone, the, the police, everything would change in an instant. Nothing would ever be the same again. My wife. It all just happened so fast, so yeah, I panicked and I left. It was wrong. I was wrong. And the longer I, I didn't do anything about it, the more I couldn't because it would only make things worse because I left. I'm sorry. And I tried to go to you and I couldn't even do that. I'm sorry, all right? But that's all I got. Yeah, that's right. Time's up. Put down the gun, Joe. Cutting it kind of close there, detective. I... I think I could have actually shot him. You don't want to tell me that. Put the gun down. Put the gun down slowly.
Nathan? What did you do, Nathan? Nathan. You could have said something, King. I am sorry. It's stupid. Yeah. All of it. She deserves better than me. They all deserve better than us. Look, kid, I know why you did what you did, to protect her. I get that. I just wish it hadn't been at the expense of my wife. We had a son. He died suddenly. <laughs> I just got sucker punched. Put me right over the edge. So I disappeared. One day, Alice, that was her name, by the way, in case you missed that. She sits me down, looks at me point blank, and says that if we're going to survive, I'm going to have to make a choice. I can keep staring down at my feet, or I can... I'm going to look up at the stars. That simple. Of course, I uh, came back with a joke. I said, it's daytime, dummy. There are no stars. She shot right back at me. Just because you can't see them right now doesn't mean they're not up there, dummy. I guess this business of life has always been pretty, uh, what you see is what you get for me. Yeah, we come into this world, we work our way through it, we move on, have a couple of laughs along the way. You know the truth. Sad reality. Her ability to deal with all this kind of crap that life throws at you. All this. I knew where it came from. Always. And it, just, it would burn me up. I'd resent her because I knew it was connected to some goodness. I was, I was never able to buy into. And she, she could so easily. What are you saying? Heck if I know. You should keep them. Dog, or whatever you want to call him. At least for now, it would be one less worry. You're assuming all this is gonna blow over for me. You share blame here, and I'm going to pull the gun. An empty gun. They're not gonna do anything to you. Well, if it works out that way, maybe till you're sorted. Did you really get fired that day? Oh, yeah. What kind of work you do? Paint, you know, houses. Huh. So what did you do to get dumped? Truth? Oh, now, now he starts. I hated the people I worked with. I got into a thing with one of them, one of those know-it-alls. Only he didn't know anything. He just walked around all day motor mouthing. I know the type. Sometimes it takes all you got not to punch him down, just to teach him a lesson. <laughs> yeah. 
might serve you well to keep that thought to yourself, and uh, you'll work your way through it, you and your wife. She must have been an incredible woman, Alice. She was. Pure love. I think maybe I see some of that in your girl there. I think, I think Alice would want me to say, uh, I forgive you. Do you? I don't know. It's a work in progress. Yeah. How come you're being so okay about all this? You think that's what this is, me being okay? I'm not okay. You two gentlemen simmered down yet? Yeah. We're simmered. Good luck, kid. <laughs>